looking at the different objectives that firms might have now and um, this phrase the divorce of ownership from control so I'm going to be looking at a monopoly diagram to be able to analyze this so we know that the profit maximizing output is where it says a because this is where marginal cost intersects marginal revenue and uh, the price will be kind of set up there but there might also be some other objectives of the firm so the, um, this might not necessarily be an objective, but if we were kind of comparing it to a competitive uh, market, the competitive equilibrium would be where marginal cost equals average revenue, and so that would be where B is, the output there. Uh, revenue maximization would be where marginal revenue equals zero. We showed that on the revenue presentation. And then sales maximization would be where average cost equals average revenue. So this is where you can sell the most without making a loss. Um, most units of output that is so in terms of profit maximizing most firms will be aiming for this and this is where marginal revenue is marginal cost however it is quite difficult for firms to work out this level now you might think well, that's ridiculous firms will understand their costs but costs are actually um, a really quite complicated thing and uh, especially if firms are uh, big companies that are making multiple products, it's really sometimes hard to attribute certain costs to a certain product. Um, and then having to work out the marginal cost as well would be very difficult. Um, firms also might not produce at this point because they may be willing to forego profits in the short run to gain profits in the long run. So what they might want to do is gain market share. So we'll have a look at that in a second. And there might be divorce of ownership of control. Now, divorce of ownership and control is where the owner of the firm is not necessarily running the firm and controlling the firm. Um, and the person controlling it might have different objectives. And we'll go into that in a second. And we might find that there's a little bit of inertia. So what we should be finding is that whenever variable cost change, because that will have an impact on marginal costs, or whenever um, average revenue changes, that will have an impact on marginal revenue. When any whenever any of these factors change it should change the profit maximizing output but we might find that that's not really happening and prices aren't changing as often as they should really should be um, just because it takes time for firms to make decisions and then there's lots of costs involved and uh, changing the prices so it might just be more um, cost effective for them to not change prices every day or every hour um, so sales revenue maximization, this was a marginal revenue equals zero. So what you might want to do is gain market share in a new market and then build, you know, and do that by entering with like a relatively low price compared to what you're going to sell the price, uh, the product for um, in the long run. But you, by doing this, you, you can build brand loyalty before increasing the price. And lots of firms do this when they bring out new products. And in business studies, we call this penetration pricing because you enter the market with a low price and then slowly increase it. Um, also, you might find that managers have their salary tied to sales targets. So they might do what we call like satisficing, which is kind of aiming for multiple targets and not quite hitting all of those targets, but getting some place in between. So if I just go back to this um, diagram, the owners are going to want profit maximization, but the um, manager who's in control of the business might have their salary tied to how much sales revenue they're making. Because remember, costs are really hard to work out. So it's, an, you know, it's every firm will know how much revenue it's that's not a hard thing to work out so they'll tie the the manager's bonus to sales um revenue and so the manager's going to want to have output like further towards point c but the owners really want output to be further towards point a and you might have some point in the middle um occurring because of that and that's called satisficing so if I just skip ahead here, sales maximization, where average revenue equals average cost. So you're just, you're breaking even, you're covering all your costs. And they might do this to, um, uh, it's called price limiting or, or, or limit price. And, and this would be to um, discourage other firms from entering the market um, because they'd have to be relatively large to be able to compete um, with the incumbent. Um, and this is 
the point um, average revenue average cost is the point where you get to if the market was contestable um, or it might be a predatory pricing um, strategy which would be anti-competitive and illegal where you're trying to force out other competitors who you know don't have um, the economy scale that you have so can't get their price down to that level so that's going through all of those objectives there just the only thing that I didn't write down that I was just kind of talking through was the satisfying principle so make sure um, you understand that it's like trying to kind of um, hit multiple targets at the same time um, and just trying to kind of like satisfy um, them rather than like achieve them